Do you think that's terrorism if a, if a woman's raped? Do you, Mr. Burson? Do I think that that is uh, terrorism? Yeah. No, but it's a, an egregious, horrible crime, which is the father of three I daughters, what it, I think, is a horrible it crime. It is for that woman. It is for that family. And you don't deport them. How do you do that? You give them an excuse to make a decision, put some poor officer there to say, you know, maybe they should go ahead and stay here in this country. We had more than 66,000 criminal aliens in your control, and you let them go. You didn't deport them. You let them go. Why do you do that? Mr. Chairman, uh, the, uh, the policy provides that if they are a threat to national security or border security, public safety, that they are eligible. Give me a scenario when a, when a woman gets raped and the person's here illegally, that they're not a threat to public safety. Explain to me that scenario. I didn't say that. I said that they would That's be subject. That's what the memo says. They would be subject, un, I believe the memo says, unless they are a threat to border security, unless they are not a threat to border security, national How security, are they not a safety. threat? How are are they not Chairman, a threat Chairman, to public uh, if, a, if a woman is raped and the, and the perpetrator is convicted of rape, that is a felony, that is a serious crime, that is a top priority for removal. So no, I'm it's not, not. Sure. It is not the top priority. I'm not sure it's where... It's priority number two for the Department of Homeland Security, so says the memo. That person would be removed. It doesn't say that. It says, unless there are factors indicating the alien is not a threat or should not therefore be an enforcement priority. Jay Johnson went out of his way to tell people, if you commit rape, rape, if you're in a DUI situation, I, I do if not you commit burglary, don't necessarily deport these people. Respectfully, Congressman, I don't think you are reading that, that, uh, that policy correctly. I am rape is a serious crime that is a, a, remo a, a removable offense. It is that, a removable is offense unless and less. And it's priority number two for the Department of Homeland Security. I want some, que I want some answers about that. I'm going to give you a copy to read. You're going to have a half hour to go through it. And I want to understand why you let 66,000 criminal aliens remain in the United States of America. That's a threat to the homeland. That's a threat of terrorism. That's a threat to every American. Those people should be priorities for removal. And you, did, you had them in your possession, and you let them go. You did not deport them. These are people that State Department, State Department, who gave a visa, thought about it, got more information, and decided, ah, we better revoke that. 9,500 were tied to terrorists. And you don't have a clue no, who they are, do you? No, Mr. Chairman, please uh, uh, understand that uh, I, I head up the Office of Policy. The operational components that would have that information are, uh, when will are not I get here. That? When will I get that recess, information? See if we can find that. When will I get that information? If, if the operational representatives have that information, we'll provide it to you when the hearing uh, uh, starts up again. Uh, you don't have a clue, do you? 